The Option key or the Alt key, depending on your keyboard layout, can be used to unlock all kinds of features hidden in macOS, and if you're like me, you might have forgotten what holding down the Option key can actually do. So in this video, we're going to go over eight hidden macOS features that you can access by using the Option key. The first thing we're going to go over are the Finder view actions. In Finder's list view, hold Option and click the triangle next to a folder to expand it, and the contents of any subfolders nested inside will also be revealed. In column view, you can also resize all columns in a window by option clicking on the column selector. The menu bar is also a useful place to use the option key and by holding option when you click on menu bar icons, often reveals hidden actions. Option click the Wi-Fi icon for example and you'll see extensive information on the currently connected network. Do the same for the volume icon and you'll be able to change not only the audio output device but the input device too. If we head over to the Safari web browser and select Safari in the menu bar, you'll notice the quick option to clear your history along with cached website data and cookies. If you want to clear history but keep all that data available to you, you can do so by holding down the option key. Move over to File and hold down the option key when you click on a Tabs Close button and all the other tabs will close except for the one that you're currently on. When you need to save or export a file in preview, if you option click the format dropdown, you'll get access to several more available file types. If your Mac's keyboard has icons printed on some of the function keys, you can obviously press them to perform special features. For example, by pressing the F11 or 12 keys with speaker icons, we'll adjust the volume. If you hold down option when you press one of these keys, this will open the system preferences pane associated with that feature. For example, option F11 or F12 opens up the sound preferences. In the general preferences menu, you can select between two forms of scroll bar behavior. Jump to the next page and jump to the spot that's clicked. You can actually switch between the two behaviors on the fly by obviously option clicking anywhere in the window scroll bar to jump to that location in the open document or web page. If an application is acting up, Hold down option and right click its icon in the dock to reveal a force quit action in the pop-up menu. You can also option click an app icon to bring its windows to the forefront and simultaneously hide another app's active window. Finally, when you drag your mouse from one side or corner of a window to resize it, you can hold the option key to resize the dimensions of the window from its center point instead. So that was just a quick look at some macOS features that you might not know about when holding down the option key. Let us know if you have any other option key related features that we didn't mention in the comment section down below, or if you have any other hidden macOS features in general, be sure to let us know as well. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.